All I can say is they about to hit it harder, man, because people see through the crap, man. People see through the crap. Eminem. I, I love me some 8 Mile, though, man. I ain't lying to you. Eminem, man. Y'all know we got some history with Eminem on this, on this channel. On my channel, we got some history with Eminem, man. So this is going to be a good video, y'all. But uh, it, it's pathetic, man. It's sad. And, I, and I'm quite frankly, I'm just like, y'all, I'm sick of these celebrities too, man. I, I'm, I'm sick of these celebrities and these uh, Diddy, Diddy party, uh, party participants. Yeah. These Diddy party participants. We know what's going on, man. Let me go and show y'all this one. This is funny. I like it. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. And, and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan for, for doing <laughs> the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. Uh, but this is part of what is important about giving back. Since we applaud you. And, and Obama, go open up that cabinet and get that baby all out. Y'all go get that baby all out that cabinet. I want to apologize for not sweating, but I but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool, and I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that. But I'm just so cool. Um, we 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 we, we, we. t-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes he's designing, he'd be sweating just like me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look, man. You just can't shut out the time, man. They there. I'm sorry, they there. <laughs> hey, love Tom, man. Shout out to Tom McDonald, man. Where my hangover gang at, y'all? Shout out to the hangover gang, man. Yeah, remember when uh Trick Trick endorsed Trump um a couple days ago? Eminem aka aka <laughs> Grandpa Shady. Is somewhere crying because Trick Trick, one of his friends, endorsed Trump. Oh, <laughs> what up, though, Detroit? If y'all know about Trick Trick, y'all know I'm about bringing it all to Detroit. So please welcome the 47th president of the United States as we make Detroit great. Again! Man, you just can't make this up, man. Someone says, why is Eminem endorsing Kamala Harris? Simple. Hmm. Elon Musk says, yet another Diddy Party participant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at them fellas there, man. He bought Obama out too uh, at the end. That's it, it, it's just uh, it's pathetic, man. But all I can say is they about to hit it even harder, man. You know, Taylor Swift couldn't cut the cake. Yeah, about to hit it even harder. Lizzo definitely couldn't cut the cake. Yeah. But again, what what did y'all expect, man? The people see through this crap. The lady can't answer a question. The lady doesn't have a plan. The lady repeats herself. Yeah. And she ain't black. We know the truth, man. And we know the truth on you, Obama, Barry, and Big Mike. Yeah, buddy, we know the truth, man. We know the truth, y'all. But um, I'm gonna see what Benny said. He titled this one Trump Breaks Eminem. Rapper literally shaking and in tears on stage endorsing Kamala Harris. Let's check it out, man. You just can't make this stuff up though, man. But I can say we do have some history with Eminem on this channel, man. And we love some of his hits. We'll learn about leverage. Leverage is how the regime gets celebrities to do humiliating, degrading things that they don't want to do and it's bad for their fan base and their careers. But guess what? If they didn't do them, the consequences would be really, really bad because of leverage. This is a practice in leverage. Watch this. Here are the witches of the view. Bully, Usher, very famous. And we did a video on Usher yesterday. Well, a couple hours ago. Yeah. 
We know how that played out. Told you, it's something, it's something about these Diddy Party participants, man. We don't, it's something deep, it's something dark, man. I tell you, it is something dark, man. But hey, you live to fight another day. Celebrity and musician into endorsing Kamala Harris, and he refuses. I think that the Who's artists should come out and speak for Kamala against Donald Trump because he is an existential threat to the country. What do you say to that? You know what? I don't get too deep into politics. I didn't get a chance to watch the debate last night. I obviously have been watching uh, like everybody else. I think voting is an individual choice. And uh -huh. I think that you're right. You have to look at the reality of the country that we are and the country that we want to be and find the candidate that you feel both or uh, who, who fits the category of where we want to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that's it. And that's what you vote based off of, uh, who you um, highlight and how you choose to highlight it on whatever platform you have is your prerogative. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the, the crowd applauds. You want to know why? Because the crowd actually finds that answer refreshing. The crowd's like, wow, a celebrity that's not badgering me or lecturing me or mewling at me, some virtue signal about what I should do with my vote. It was a great answer, actually. Hey, you should do the research and you should vote your conscience. You should vote You should vote based on what you see is happening in the country today. Ladies and gentlemen, that answer, of course, wasn't satisfactory to the regime. Something interesting happened since that answer. Oh, a couple of people went to prison. A couple of interesting stories have been leaked about Usher, and about Diddy, and about baby oil. Not the baby and, oil. Ooh, Don't. have we changed tune? Suddenly, Usher is joining Kamala Harris on the campaign trail. Far from tactically saying, uh, you know what? Vote for who you want to vote for. It's an important time. Everyone should do their own research. That's what Usher said. That's a perfectly acceptable response. Every celebrity, no matter what industry you're in, should just say that response. If they support Trump, they should say that response. If they support Kamala Harris, they should say that response. That's actually the adult, responsible way to talk about the election. Especially when you're a celebrity and you have a lot of skeletons in your closet, but because of those skeletons, they are able to manipulate and leverage celebrities into doing humiliating, degrading things like this. Then Ursher comes wandering out on stage wearing what looks like the cleanup mop from the Diddy party and, uh, okay, and degrades himself, right? Just, f just further degrades himself and his career. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's not just Usher, it's tons of celebrities who, well, paid their dues, right? You don't get to be a certain level of famous without the regime, without those in power, having something on you to manipulate you into doing whatever they want you to do. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Feminem. Pump those lips up, mm, baby, look at that, ooh. <laughs> like when Phil said this, like dress up is a really thing, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I really put much thought into it, yeah. I'm keeping it gangster, homie. I'm keeping it gangster. I'm keeping it real. <clears throat> it's all about keeping it real. Kind of hard to watch, on, honestly. Thank you. Oh, but I gotta hold it, huh? Oh my god! I'm a girl! These are called yep. humiliation rituals. Yep. You have to go through these humiliation rituals in order to become famous in Hollywood. The sick Hollywood. We know about Hollywood, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the, to all the, hey, to all the real ones out there, man. We've been calling this crap out for quite a minute, and it's actually what made our career. Calling out Holly Weird. Calling out the corruption. The corruption in Washington. The corrupt government. The corrupt scam matrix. Monsters in charge, who are some of the worst people on earth, literally demon possessed, those people force celebrities to go through stuff like this in order to prove who's actually in charge. So hard AF Eminem gets turned into feminine. And Eminem has been doing a series of degrading, humiliating attacks on his own reputation and on his own fan base, quite frankly. 
because the working class people of Michigan actually love Donald Trump. Now, if anybody still listens to Eminem, I don't know, but if they're listening, what they'll hear is something akin to like a Reddit comment section a full Trump derangement syndrome. Better give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. He'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bombing stops. This is this is Eminem talking about the only president in his lifetime or my lifetime that brought world peace. Yep. Good job, Eminem. Listen to Eminem break into tears, talking about how he can't even catch his breath thinking about Donald Trump. It, it's a, it's too a, flustered in my head. The shit that I want to say, there's there's too many things I want to say at once. So sometimes I start talking and I, and I don't, I'm not able to convey the message the right way because I just get flustered and frustrated. If you're talking about his core being, you know, a majority white middle class, watching him play to his base that thinks that he cares about them and it's actually the people that he cares about the least. What I don't understand is how in the f do you feel like you relate to a billionaire who has never known struggle his entire f life? There's part of me that understands like, all right, he's somehow still got them because he's brainwashing them into thinking that something great is gonna happen. Nothing's happening. I don't know, man. I get, I get really flustered. I get really flustered. Eminem should be on The View. They should kick one of those witches off or just make a new <laughs> chair and just put Eminem on The View. He's already got he's already got the makeup ladies for it. It's perfect. It's perfect. This can be the new, you can rename it. <laughs> rename it the Feminem uh, uh, Couch Feel Good Tickle Tickle Hour. Oh, man, video point with it today, man. It is so soft. It is so sad. And now the final chapter of Eminem's incredibly humiliating fall uh, comes full circle. So here is Eminem last night campaigning for Kamala Harris, but Kamala Harris isn't there, you see, because Kamala Harris has been kicked off the campaign trail by the person who's actually running the country, Barack Obama. Barack Obama is now running for president for his fourth term. Like we told y'all, man. Here's Barack Obama. We told you the fellow won his fourth term. I keep telling y'all this. I don't want nobody won't listen to me. And Eminem, together and they did a rally in Detroit. Wasn't well received, quite frankly. Who in the world thinks this is cool? <laughs> Eminem and Skittles, that's right. <laughs> did Trump turn Eminem down for Celebrity Apprentice? There has to be more to this story. This goes beyond normal TDS. Eminem, All right, here's like Eminem that. last night. Eminem and Skittles, I like that. Eminem and Skittles. Brother Skittles. Eminem and Skittles. I like that. I ain't never heard. Yeah. Now that I think about what Obama, you know. Yeah. Rainbows all through the White House. Yeah. Eminem and Skittles. In a very short, very curt introduction uh, at a rally in Detroit where he half-ass reads a script, does the black power fist Dude, the levels of cringe. Eminem is really morphing into a like Whole Foods mom. You really like truly. It's Detroit. Here we go. Okay. Wow. What up, though? So look, I wrote down a few things I wanted to say. I love you too. Thank you. I'm here tonight for a couple of important reasons. As most of you know, the city of Detroit and the whole state of Michigan mean a lot to me. And going into this election, the spotlight is on us more than ever, and I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. I also think that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. Uh, listen, asshat. There's only one party that is actively censoring, eroding, and destroying the First Amendment. Uh, I don't, t again, you know, some... 
You just can't make this stuff up, man. Does he not know what took place in, 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 in 2020? And we can even go farther than that. Does he not does he not know what has been happening? Where does he But again, you know, it's one of those highly weird celebrities, so it you know. And that's why I I, I, I agree with y'all, man. The hell with these celebrities, man. The hell with them, man. They not paying our bills, man. They not here struggling with us, man. You know, these people are paid off, man. Paid off actors, man, coming up there. It's just, it's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a circus, man. That is trying to jail Donald Trump, ban him from the internet, jail Elon Musk for freedom of speech. The, like, the level of psyop, the level of leverage that they must have on these people. Like, what do they have on Eminem? What did he tape do they got? on Eminem. And it's almost I like I told y'all. I, I I told y'all in, in, in the video we did a couple hours ago, man. Just be ready for it. Yeah. If they did the Diddy thing just to say, hey, we got all the tapes now. You're all of you, Usher, Eminem, all of you, Liz, all of you people are now going to do everything we say. And you've been seeing that. Every one of them just try, like, trotting out of the campaign trail like good little soldiers. This is this is this is so degrading. Here we go. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. Kamala Harris is part of a regime that is censoring Americans actively right now and regularly asked to censor Americans. Go look at the Facebook or Twitter files. Go look at the House investigations. This is something that is happening and is so humiliating that they don't under, they, they, they don't, they don't live in reality. And I don't think this helps Kamala Harris at all. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. So there you go, so that was the whole thing. A little short speech and he brings out, a, I mean, it's just, like I told y'all, man, crap, man. And they're gonna have, I'm telling you, they're gonna have to do a little harder than that, man. They're gonna have to come a little harder than that. It ain't working, man. It ain't moving the needle, you know. And Taylor Swift, uh, you know, the Taylor Swift high. It didn't. It, I, I told y'all, man. It's over. She on there holding her cat, you know. Says so the whole thing. So then Obama walks out and does an Eminem lyric. And th by the way, that's the, the entire. Like re the entire like I'm gonna read from my I'm gonna read from my note Eminem doing his whole thing. I thought you were like a performer, man. I thought, I thought I thought you were somebody who had stage command. So he like reads from his notes. He's wearing a baseball cap, so no one can see his eyes. So no one's trusting what he says. There's no trust between him and the audience. He's reading from his notes. A total of sixty-seven seconds. His whole speech, and then this. Now notice, my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on my sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but on the surface I look calm and ready to drop bombs, but I keep on forgetting. Cringe, and we're literally seeing, we're literally seeing him, he's literally, man, we're literally seeing the Barack Obama uh, collapsing, man, this, this is... It got into an all-time low, man. And I hope and pray that it is an actual landslide, man. So we can, again, go back and laugh at this once again. I didn't think that we could reach further levels of cringe than Kamala Harris has already reached, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. It's it's so played out. Who's running for president exactly? P played out. Who's who's actually running for president? Uh, it's clear who's running for president. It's clear Barack Obama sees himself as the presidential candidate. And in many ways, he he's right. In many ways, he's right. Dick Cheney and Eminem, there's a team you don't see every day. <laughs> I've been telling everybody my entire life that Eminem is a clown and a loser. It sucks to be right all the time.
I never thought I would live to see the day that Eminem starts simping for the establishment. What a sellout. He's been doing it for a long time. Yeah. If you've been paying attention. While that Eminem kept the public persona of a brooding teenager into his 50s. This is right. <laughs> gross. A gross depression beard. Yet another Diddy party participant. That's right. <laughs> Correct. Elon accused Eminem of being a Diddy party participant. Eminem is not coming out in support of Kamala because he likes politics. He's being summoned, he is compromised, and he is controlled. Correct. Lizzo endorsed Kamala. Eminem endorsed her. Usher, Taylor Swift, who cares seriously? None of these affluent celebrities will be impacted by her fiscal policies. They have no skin in the game except relevancy. And that's, I think, why many of them are doing it. Eminem is a cuck. Imagine cucking out for Kamala Harris. Slim Shady really is dead. So this is a uh, <laughs> this is a rough roll for Eminem, hard AF. I grew up obsessed with Eminem. I listened for years. Unfortunately, he's now a pathetic loser. The same guy who wrote all these songs about anti-establishment going up against grain uh, just became a little sheep to do what he's told. Many such cases. I speak for the entire country when I say Eminem is garbage and we will be voting for the orange man. Yes. <laughs> for the who likes, I'll make Eminem even smaller. It's <laughs> good. It's good. Oh man, Kamala's Kamala's posting this like it's a big W. The irony is one of the reasons Eminem is so successful is because we value free speech in this country. He's tested that value with every album he's released and he's been rewarded for it. Now he's endorsing the candidate that will love nothing more than to take free speech away. Perfect. By the way, I think it's very interesting to note that nobody cares, Barack Obama, like nobody, the magic is gone. Nobody cares about you anymore. You're a has-been. You're washed up. And nobody cares about Taylor Swift, somebody who you could argue is at the height of her fame. I mean, it's, it's hard to argue that Taylor Swift is... Uh, not actively at the height of her fame right now. Yet here we go. Taylor Swift's Kamala Harris endorsement. It had no difference on me. 81%. 13% said they're less likely to support Kamala Harris because of it. Only 6% said now they're more likely to vote for Kamala Harris. So she actually lost Kamala Harris votes. So it would actually, be, it would actually behoove the people who are actually in charge, the masters, to be done with this pedantic bullshit and this leveraging of all the compromising information and video you have on these celebrities to get them to do these half-ass endorsements because it actually backfires on you. They're just proving how much power they have. This is all it is. Donald Trump going in, though, uh, as the <laughs> as an actual alpha, somebody who's actually hard AF, somebody who's actually a gangster. Here we go. Young Un, North Korea, nuclear weapons all over the place. I said, you ever do anything else? Go to a game, do something, you know. He loves producing nuclear weapons. That's what he likes producing. And he's got a lot of them. And he has no respect for our leadership now. And he doesn't respect, he didn't respect Obama. He thought Obama was a real jerk. A real jerk. And I think he's a real jerk because I've watched him campaign over the last couple of over the last couple of days. I watched him campaign. What a uh, divider he is, right? What a divider he is. He divide this country. He couldn't care less. Him and his little group of people. He was he was uh, he was terrible. But I've watched what he's done. He's trying to campaign because she's incapable of campaigning. So they send him in to try. He's not going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> Eminem, yeah. these celebrities, man, yeah. at the Diddy party, huh? At the Diddy party, <sighs> just can't make it up, y'all. What y'all think? Comment down below. You know, but um, we've had enough of these. I'm, I'm sick of these celebrities, man. I'm just sick of, you know, I'm, I'm sick of Hollywood. I'm, I'm just sick of all of it, man. You know, and I, I pray it's a, a landslide. You know, because we, we, we know what's going on, man. We know how corrupt it is. And this fellow just wants his fourth term. Unbelievable. But hey, let me know what y'all think. I love y'all, and I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.